the title of the series we have today, right now, is God is our Father. Now, everybody in the world call God his own Father. Now, whether that is true or not, is what we intend to establish today. If God is your Father, by the end of what we're going to say today, you will discover whether he's your Father or not, or you're just deceiving yourself. This is how people know if God is their own Father or not. In the book of, uh, it was Jesus Christ actually that says in Matthew 6, 9, that God is our Father. Now, how does he become our Father? God becomes somebody's Father the moment that person receives Jesus Christ as his personal Lord and Savior. When you believe that Jesus Christ is your Father, God begins to become your Father. This fact can be found in the book of First John 5, verse 1. God becomes your Father when you receive Jesus Christ as your Savior. He now, Jesus Christ, now comes into your life and then Jesus, and then He sent the Holy Spirit and Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Spirit, gets you born again. It makes you once more God's child. Until then, therefore, Jesus Christ becomes your Lord and Savior and a claim to whether God is your Father is a deceit. You could say God is your father as a God Almighty who creates heaven and earth. But for him to really be your own father, you must accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. Now when you accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, what finally says that you're actually God's child is in your behavior. If you do not bear the fruit of the Holy Spirit, you do not have the character that makes you to be very much like God, the Father. You can never be God's child. Jesus Christ one day told people when he was told that his own father and mother were looking for him. He says, who are my father? He said, my father are those that do the will of my father. And the will of God's father is to believe that Jesus Christ is the son, the one who must come and will come. And the one who died on the cross of Calvary. Until you believe that Jesus Christ died to lose on your own behalf. You can't have the Holy Spirit. And if you don't have the Holy Spirit, you're just ordinary man, not fathered by God, the Father God. Jehovah. In the book of John, 3 John, 3 John, the Gospel of 3 John, verse 11, it is said that those that are fathered by God do good, and those that are fathered by the devil do bad. If you no matter your bad, your statue, do not do good and seek to destroy Jesus Christ, you cannot have God as your own father. One day Jesus Christ was talking to the to the, to the Jews, and the Jews claimed that they were not bastards, as they were children of Abraham. <laughs> but then, the truth is that, though they said they were children of Abraham, <laughs> they were seeking to kill Jesus Christ. Anybody whose action goes contrary to what God expects of men to keep Jesus Christ is not a child of God. Those Jews, though they were born of Abraham, sought to kill Jesus Christ. And because they sought to kill Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ said they were not God's children. As God's children will seek to do what Abraham did. And Abraham will never kill God, Jesus Christ. Are you here listening to me? And as you listen to me, you know that nothing about your character seems to glorify God. How look God? If everything about your character never is to wait the character that is likened to somebody that is doing everything possible to give Jesus life in his own life. No way, brother. You are not of God. Your character must do everything to follow God Almighty. God Almighty, we thank you because you've told us and shown us today that for us to be God's children, we must accept Jesus Christ as our personal Lord and Savior. It is accepting Jesus Christ as our personal Lord and Savior that really makes us children of God. And if we are children of God, we will have to Act the way Jesus Christ acted. Act in any way, short or contrary to the way Jesus expects us to. Or act in a way that is bad. And to act back is never to have Jesus Christ. No matter how good somebody is, if he's not being fathered by Jesus, if he does not believe in Jesus Christ, he cannot be God's church. Help us to be good by accepting Jesus Christ. For no one is good except God. And therefore, until the Spirit of God lives in us, it can never be good. 
Holy Spirit, come live in us, so we can be good, being God's children. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.